Okay, so today's topic of discussion is COPD in ICU. So introduction, COPD is the fourth leading cause of death worldwide. Uh, the term COPD is applied to chronic bronchitis and or emphysema. A COPD definition, an event in the natural course of disease characterized by change in dyspnea, cough or sputum. Uh, targeted oxygen therapy and NIV are the major advances in therapy in past decade resulting in reduced invasive mechanical ventilation and better survival. Etiology Environmental factors, tobacco smoke, air pollution, indoor fumes, poor socioeconomic status. Host factors, alcohol and antitrypsin deficiency. Pathophysiology, hallmark of COPD is mainly irreversible expiratory air flow limitation. It is caused by increase in resistance of small conduction airways or impaired compliance due to emphysematous lung destruction or both. Hyperinflation is caused by airway collapse leading to cessation of air flow and air traffic distal to point of flow limitation. Increased airway resistance which impedes airflow and may cause dynamic hyperinflation if expiratory time is short. Increased PVR. How does expiratory obstruction occur? Noxious stimuli lead to inflammation leading to classic findings of COPD that is excessive mucus secretion leading to airway narrowing, inflammatory mucosal edema, increased fluid and cell exudation in the airways. These phenomena are partially reversible and represent the target of suggested therapy. Structural remodeling caused by repeated injury, increased fibrous wall thickness, and irreversible airway obstruction. Smaller airways affected more. Emphysema caused by imbalance of proteinases and antiproteinases, alcohol and antitrypsin deficiency, and imbalance of oxidative stress, smoking. Effects on respiratory mechanics. Hyperinflation is caused by increased RV and MRC. Decreased elastic recoil leads to decreased driving force and expiration becomes flow limited. Equal pressure point is reached earlier. Pressure gradient necessary to overcome resistance for a given airflow increased. Compliance is decreased. Increased dead space ventilation. PI increases which should be first overcome before any air can flow in during spontaneous breathing or trigger ventilator in IMB. Effect on muscles. Hyperinflation places in inspiratory muscles, especially diaphragm at mechanical disadvantage, worsening the length tension relationship. Hypoxemia and respiratory acidosis disturb energy metabolism of muscles. Respiratory cachexia and malnutrition further impair the muscle strength. In severe COPD, minor changes in workload may lead to rapid worsening. Precipitates of acute respiratory failure. Infective, including aspiration. Left ventricular failure, systolic and diastolic. Sputum retention, post-operative traumatic. Pulmonary embolism, pneumothoraces and bullets. Uncontrolled oxygen, sedation. Medication non-compliance, nutritional, potassium, phosphate, magnesium deficiency, and alcohol excess, and sleep apnea. Infections, streptococcus pneumoniae, hemoplus influenza constitute 80%, moraxella catarrhalis, mycoplasma pneumonia, pseudomonas aeruginosa, and uh, viruses 20 to 30%. Pneumonia estimated to account for 20% presentations of mechanical ventilation. Heart failure, LB systolic failure may result from coexisting systemic heart disease, fluid overload, tachyarrhythmias, biventricular failure due to core pulmonary. LV diastolic failure more common hypoxemia, tachycardia, IP causing pericardial constraints and RV dilation. Increased work of breathing causes tenfold supply of blood to respiratory muscles, increased demand on cardiac output. In a recent publication in 2006, 51% patients of COPD have echo evidence of left heart failure. Uncontrolled oxygen. It may precipitate acute hypercapnia in severe COPD patients by shutting blood to low PQ units and increasing the dead space, loss of hypoxic drive, Dissociation of CO2 from hemoglobin molecule, Haldane effect, anxiolysis and reduction in tachypnea. Major RCTs have indicated significant reduction in need for invasive mechanical ventilation, hospital length of stay, mortality with targeted oxygen therapy, saturation 88 to 92 percent compared with uncontrolled oxygen therapy, ambulances, ERs and wards. Uh, pulmonary thromboembolism, impaired gastric stator, increases in pulmonary vascular pressure. Studies have shown PE to be present in up to 50 percent cases of ACOPD of unknown cause in autopsies. Diagnosis. Parametric health and classification. Global initiative for obstructive lung disease criteria for severity. Gold criteria. All have FE weakened by FVP less than 70 percent. Grade 1 FE weakened more than 80 percent predicted normal. Grade 2 FE weakened 50 to 79 percent predicted normal. Expiratory V's on post expiration. Mild exertional dyspnea. Grade 3 FE weakened 30 to 50 percent predicted normal. Clinical signs of hyperinflation like toes of a bottom liver beyond four intercostal space, loss of cardiac percussion, fracture drug, use of access Muscle. Grade 4 FE even less than 30% predicted normal. Tachypnea is at rest, pulse with breathing, hypoxemia, RBD, loud pulmonary second sound, elevated JVP, hepatomegaly, swollen ankles. COPD, no bronchodilator response. 
and it meets the criteria, and the patient can tolerate. Technically, you need to do You have to be able to monitor the patient. So it has to, it has to be in a setting which I'm talking about to to ensure that the patient is going in the right direction. Then you use the NIV. It is later as patient as people got more comfortable with NIV, as people got more confident uh, with NIV, that they started using it. Some of the patients which they earlier did not uh, use. But you have to keep in mind, there are some studies, the severe patients they to be done in NIV breach initially and if they fail, and when you go to IV, they have a somewhat worse uh, prognosis. So you have to be, uh, while you can use it in some of the most severe patients, uh, you have to take the responsibility that the earliest sign of any deterioration, okay, I do want to have to boost the number, the patient has settled for three folks, then you have to be ready to play that. So if a patient comes at 2 o'clock at night, and if the patient is reasonably sick, it is best to intubate and ventilate. Now, we'll show my shower pump, monitoring, and then talk about it. But yes, if somebody is coming at 10 o'clock in the morning, you know you're going to be there, and you're going to be able to take charge, and uh, if you want to do the last syllabus, you will go to the rest of the population. So, it's a challenge. Yes, sir. Uh, Machines, they put a box, or high single tubing, and a 
uh, the time I could be control process and just stop it in such a situation. Yeah. 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 Ye
what that uh, now. So that you have to keep in mind that most patients, to be dissected for the patient is not going to do that 10 to 2. Unless you sedate them paralyze, which we don't do for most skeletal patients, we keep them lightly sedate. So, which is why you will have to keep going and keep checking. Asynchrony, Ole, don't get dicked up with asynchrony. What I'm trying to say is that you think you have set that respiratory rate, but the patient is actually not breathing at that respiratory rate. The patient is breathing at say 30. The respiratory cycle is about 2 seconds. And third, 2 seconds. And to me, flow or volume set for a reason. Inspiratory times are fixed. So, if you take parameter to the flow or volume of time, so that inspiratory time will be fixed. Suppose, let us say your inspiratory time is fixed at 1 second, and that is about 0.8 seconds. That is what expiratory time is only 1.2 seconds per 1 second. That is going to be also the expiratory time number of the world. 1 is to 3 the world. She has a watch. The other thing is, you have said, Jay, don't worry about the peak pressure uh, uh, because it is, that's not the pressure that is going to cause the dark one. That is okay. But, what is the peak pressure touch point? Inflator. You can go high pressure touch point. You can go peak pressure uh, limit to exceed generally for it unless you have gone in and touch. You can go in and touch. So, though you may have said 6 mils, but the patient is not going to get the 6 mils. Uh, unless you are not trying to put your high pressure around, you will be able to get a contrast in the Korea. If you are not going to get a contrast in the Korea, you will be able to get a contrast in the Korea. Because if you are not going to get a contrast in the Korea, you will be able to get a contrast in the Korea. You don't want pressures to reach uh, that level. But I was not sure. So your ventilator settings have to be very careful. Yeah, we need to replicate it to avoid the breath stacking and increasing of the dynamic. Right, so how do you decrease the respiratory? Is this one thing that's being efficient? What will happen is, it will be delayed, uh, how shall I say, uh, and, and soon the patient will start to sell, but you have to keep going and looking, what is happening to the peak pressure, is it high pressure alarming, is the patient able to figure out, okay, and i.e. you have to give the patient enough time to breathe out. And to me, if the patient is breathing on his own, you don't have control of the rate. Unless the patient is to improve for the rate and take off the bucket, but you will have to see. Ashita Daka Jato, you will have to best look at the graphs. So, the patient said the I.E. ratio of the hospital. You said that. You can remember how many? I.E. ratio of the I.E. ratio. Suppose you are going to be a little bit better. There are many more eyes. So, you are going to be a little bit better. What are you going to do? Eyes. 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 So, one becomes very small. Yeah. So, we kind of volume, we stand it there, there is a pressure to go very high. So, under breath, we constantly get cut off. But, what are the other issues? But, if it happens, if it happens, we have said that the suffering rate around 89, the patient is taken at 35. We should decrease the operation. But if, if, yeah. if, if you are, I would never increase the rate of the time. I think you can get the rate of the day. 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 Yeah, and see, Abhay, what I'm saying is you are quite okay to set this and start on the patient, but then you have to stand there and look at what is happening and adjust the problem. But you can get the rate of the day. The rate of the day is the rate of the day. Which is the rate of the patient is safe. This thirty why does it thirty? Why is thirty? Because the physiological demand. Right. So what we do is take two forty to solid over. 
you start the period on a higher scale of this. We would expect the human survival period to be two. So that is the requirement. Then the moment your things are collected, the rate will go down. But this is a proposed initial signing for any patient. That is what. Because if someone is taking 30 SP to raise, you know, state the product is too less for them. The product is a higher price. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Is the high pressure alarm being breached? Is on the flow time curve we are on? In the shape of the thing, we is the graph coming and touching the baseline. That means everything is getting empty. Now, what do you think about it? To be empty, you put a boost over there. So you will see on the graph the pressure your flow time here experimentally curve the baseline that should be the point. Because if I am doing a shock, so you will see that the volume is low, and the pressure is below that. And तुम ये भी ना एक बार तो हमने एक्सपेरिमेंटरी टाइम भी नहीं ना एडिक्टेड था तो हमने ये कर तो उधर एक ऑप्टिमल जगह रखते हो और इकहाने हो यू कैन नॉट रश टू रिड्यूस योर टू बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम ऑफ़ दिस फैक्टर तो इन लाइन वालों में एक्टिविटी पेशी बात करते हैं तो एक्सपेरिमेंटरी � as long as the patient is easily comfortable, or is there a point to it? Why can't you do it? You should do it to it. You should do it to it. But if you have a metabolic apostles, you should do it to it. You should do it to it. It doesn't matter as long as you think it is reasonable. The respiratory, the initial respiratory rate of the ventilator is closer to the respiratory rate of the ventilator. But in that, 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 Not just the safety, but 
conserve the order of the total P to uh, trigger the break. Okay, so the only time we teach in a when they report some way, the way we don't have to chart it, the only thing that we break the seat, we need to know it is pretty good. Okay, so the other one And we have to increase the 